Microorganisms in Foods. This is the module on microbiological testing of foods, and this lecture covers microorganisms in foods. This presentation aims to define the microorganisms found in food and which groups impact food quality, safety, or contribute to fermentation. Finally, the rationale for microbial testing of food will be introduced. The field of microbiology includes diverse organisms from different domains of life. Parasites, fungi, and yeasts represent eukaryotic organisms with a nucleus within their cells. They may be unicellular or multicellular organisms. Bacteria are single-celled organisms that lack a nucleus. Viruses are actually not living organisms as they are obligate intracellular parasites. Collectively, these diverse organisms are termed germs, microbes, microorganisms, bugs, among many other names. Microorganisms are important in a number of fields, including medicine, agriculture, and the food industry. This slide lists the types of microorganisms important to foods. They are categorized as either contributors of food spoilage, foodborne illness, or food enhancement. Bacteria are the most important group of microorganisms to consider because they contribute significantly to food safety, food spoilage, and fermentation. Therefore, they are often a frequent target for microbial testing. Molds and yeasts are also targeted because of their association with spoilage. Viruses and parasites are not included in most microbial testing schemes and are often only tested for in an outbreak investigation. It is important to understand that different types of microorganisms have differing test methods. There are general microbial tests, such as an aerobic plate count, or APC, that will test broadly for a general category of microorganisms. In this case, all aerobic bacteria. There are also selective tests that test for specific organisms. It is important to understand the different targets and associated methods for any microbiological testing program. The first thing that often comes to mind when we think about microbiological testing of foods is safety. Microbial pathogens, most notably bacteria, are often the cause of foodborne illness and therefore often are the target of microbial testing regimes. An example would be testing for E. coli 0157H7 in final product. Microbial testing may also be used to determine whether good manufacturing practices are being followed. An example would be aerobic plate counts conducted on a non-food contact surface after cleaning and sanitizing. Microbial counts are often used to determine the quality of raw ingredients and can indicate the ability to use raw ingredients for a specific purpose. For example, an ingredient in yogurt with a high microbial load may interfere with fermentation. Finally, microbial testing can be used to determine the shelf life of a food. Testing for levels of spoilage molds, yeasts, and bacteria can help one predict how long a product will be stable during storage. Another important reason to do routine microbial testing is to gather baseline data. This allows you to determine your microbial action levels later on. Microbial testing is also important for traceback investigation in the case of a recall. Federal regulatory agencies do routinely conduct microbial testing of foods. This can include lot inspection and lot acceptance programs. Often, these agencies will conduct surveillance surveys on various product pathogen pairs to assess the prevalence of pathogens in foods often associated with outbreaks. Finally, 
Microbial testing is utilized in outbreak investigations by these agencies. As a food processor, you will be conducting microbial testing in some capacity. Microbial testing is an important aspect to consider when going through the product development process. Understanding the microbial load and the impact of product formulation on the growth or inhibition of growth of microorganisms will ultimately drive decision making. Often, microbial testing is used to verify that a process control is effective. For example, a producer of a pasteurized product may routinely test final product for both spoilage and pathogenic organisms to ensure that the heat treatment is effectively eliminating these organisms. Microbial testing can also be used to assist in root cause analysis. If a fermentation is consistently failing, microbial testing may point to an ingredient with a high initial microbial count that is outcompeting the fermentation organisms. Environmental microbial testing can also help point to a source of contamination that occurs after a kill step, leading to either food safety or spoilage issues. In summary, microorganisms relevant to food include fungi, parasites, bacteria, and viruses. Some types of these microorganisms can cause spoilage or safety issues, while others can be used beneficially in food production. Reasons for testing for microorganisms in food or the food processing environment include safety, adherence to good manufacturing practices, to determine raw ingredient utility, or to determine the shelf life of a product.